Hi, this is Lady Lex UK, and this is a dreams tutorial. Right, I've noticed a few people now are using dialogue boxes uh, to create quest givers and things like that, and they're using the cross button uh, as a next or a skip uh, option on those dialogue boxes. Unfortunately, what they're not doing is they're not disabling the player's controls so that the player is jumping about. So let's just see the problem, shall we? So here is our player. He goes up to a quest giver. He says hello there, press X to close. And he's jumping about. Okay, this doesn't just happen with dialogue boxes. It happens on any occasion where um, you have uh, an option to do something with the cross button and you haven't disabled the jump. So he'll jump and do the thing that you've asked it to do. So let's see and how it, easy it is to disable that jump function. All right. Okay, we don't want to disable the jump function completely. Um, obviously, if I was to go into the controller and delete this wire, like so, gone, he'll, he'll, he won't jump. He won't jump ever. So um, that's not something that we want. We want the, the player to be able to jump. So let's just put that back in. We want him to be able to jump. We just don't want him to jump at certain times. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our quest giver. And um, it's going to have something similar to this. It'll probably have a, a detection zone and all sorts of things. But uh, this is a very simple version of it. Um, we've got two text boxes here. What I'm going to do... Oops. Didn't need to close that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a transmitter there we go make that so that it's a separate separate thing not part of a group just a separate wireless transmitter like that and we're going to call that transmitter no controls And then we're going to wire the text active output of our dialogue text into our transmitter. So if this is sending a message, if either of these two are sending a message, it's going to send um, a transmission. Then in our puppet controller logic, we're going to put a wireless receiver. So we're looking for no controls. And we'll set that to the full scene. So it doesn't matter where the player is. It, as soon as it gets this message, it doesn't really matter where it is in the world. It's going to receive the message. And we're going to open up our controller sensor, go to the imp page and right at the very bottom, there's an input socket for disable controls. I'm going to wire signal front transmitter to disable controls. So now when this receives a message from this transmitter, it's going to disable the player's controls. So let's have a look and see what that does. So now I'll go up to the guy, press hello there, press X to close. And you notice I'm not jumping. Uh, but I cannot move left or right or up and down or jump. I can move the camera. That isn't affected. Just the player controls. But as soon as they're, they're, they're no longer displaying text, I can move around as normal and jump and everything else. So that's the very simple one. That's disabling all of the controls. What if you wanted to disable just one thing, though? Okay. Uh, let's say we want to disable just the jump. We want him to be able to move around. We just don't want him to jump when he presses the cross button. So uh, using the same method, I'm just going to rename this to no jump. So this is exactly the same. Um, this one, we're going to take off the wire to um, no controls. We don't need that anymore. We're now just going to disable the jump. So to do that, we're going to use an AND gate. 
and a knot gate. And we're going to wire the cross button into our AND gate and our transmitter into our knot and our knot into our AND gate and our AND gate into the jump and delete the wire to the jump. So now we're looking for no jump, whole scene, and if this is not being received, and we press the cross button, then it's okay to jump, so it then wires. So if there is receiving a message, this won't be true and you won't be able to jump. So now let's go in. So I can now walk around, I can do all the other things, I just can't jump. The cross button is just for the dialogue. So there you go, there's two options. And you can use this for lots of other things. So if you've got like um, uh, boxes that you want to open with the same button as the jump, you can disable um, the jump temporarily while you are standing next to a box, for example, things like that. So that's how you would do it. So that's, that one there is to disable just one button. And I've used the cross here, but you could use any of these buttons to disable and whatever the function is. Um, so for example, if I wanted to deep, uh, the, the depossession, if I wanted to disable that option temporarily, I could wire that into there and then that AND gate into uh, the depossess like that. There we go. So now this time it's just the depossession of um, the puppet that, that is deactivated uh, when it receives the no jump signal. So there we go. It, that's all you need to do. It's pretty simple, but very, very effective and makes your game look a lot better than if he's jumping around uh, and doing other things at the same time. Okay, thank you for watching. Hope that was useful and I'll catch you in your dreams.